It's giving tapins. It's giving extension. and everybody in between i'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day transformation tuesday it's a day where we over here talking about wigs girl i don't know what day it is i will tell y'all i'm drinking green tea and i drank way too much we're gonna do a fake sip because if I did a real sip, I may just bounce up off the screen. I'm happy to be back because I am back with another scalpy on a wig. Like, I get my forehead back. Girl, I got my forehead back. This is not a V part wig. This is a U part wig. U part wigs, do y'all remember U part wigs? U part wigs used to be the thing, girl. I used to run around my U part wigs, tracks hanging out and everything. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I've been wearing U part wigs since Justin Timberlake had curly hair. I've been wearing U-part wigs since Omarion could dance. I'm happy to talk about this U-part wig because it's so cute, super simple, and literally it took me like only a few minutes to apply. But I also wanted to show y'all the very different styles that we get to wear with this wig. But first, before we get into any of those details, of course, I'm gonna ask y'all to subscribe. I be begging y'all every single week. Just, just hit me with the, just, it's one click. Hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming twice a week with new wig videos and wigs that I'm trying out. So before I get into the details on this wig, of course, I wanna say thank you to Sunbur Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. They came through for the girls. This wig on my head is an ombre U-part wig. U-part, so the part go like D. This is an ombre U-part wig. It is in the body weight texture and it is 150% density. This wig is 24 inches long and it's in the color in 30. So it has like these beautiful like golden little peekaboo fall highlights. Like it is gorgeous for fall. But one thing I, mm, one thing I do like about this wig is that it has these little peekaboo highlights, but if you have like a, a one or one B, you can easily blend it into the hair without having to think about like, ooh, is my little natural hair gonna poke out? Where my natural hair at? I mean, it's right there, but where my natural hair at? So inside of the cap of this wig, of course, it is a U-part wig. Combs are the base, okay? Combs is what keeps this wig on your head. If you ain't have no combs, girl, it's just gonna, it'll be a necklace. It'll be a coat. Inside of this cap, we have combs. There are six combs inside of this wig. So you have three over at the top and then three around the perimeter just to really keep her snug and in your head. Oh girl, don't get in no fight with this wig. Don't do that. It's gonna be you and your leave out in the fight. That's it. Or she is on my head though. Like if the wind blow, it's gonna give you, girl, it's gonna give you edges though. Let me tell y'all something. It's giving tapins. It's giving extension this wig of course came in a box and inside of that box there was the wig and also gifts the gifts that they provided are a satin bag a light skin wig cap big juicy lashes a satin scarf and those alligator clips for your hair it came in this beautiful body weight texture but when i washed it it turned into like a looser like beachy wave like this wig to me makes me think like vacation. And the one thing that I absolutely love about this wig is that there's a lot of versatility with U-part wigs. You can of course wear it with your leave out out, but then you can also do different styles that I'm also gonna show you in this video today. My leave out don't like to stay in place. My leave out starts to jump and party as soon as humidity hits it. So there are different styles that you can wear that can prevent your leave out from going haywire and doing what she wanna do. If you wanna see everything I did, first of all, to apply this wig in like three seconds. And then if you wanna see the other styles that I did with this wig, please keep on watching and then I'll be back at the end. Okay y'all, so let's go ahead and get started on applying this wig. I am actually nervous to do this wig, I don't know why. I haven't done a U-part wig in years, so I'm hoping it's gonna work out right. Plus, girl, my little hair. Okay, so let's start off by trying on the wig. So this wig is a U-part wig, but when you receive it, it's the middle parts, the U-part is joined together by these strings. Now, I wanted to do a side part, okay? 
but my hair on the side, I ain't got enough hair to do a side part. My side areas are just thin. I've never been able to do side parts because my hair is thin. Ooh, see all this? It's so pretty. This hair is absolutely gorgeous, but what we need to do is figure out how much hair we need to part out. So this is the center and we need to part out from here to here like this much. Okay, so I'm gonna use that as a guide and I need to stop right here. Girl, I think I did something. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull the hair out here. I'm trying to use this as a guide to figure out how much hair I need to pull out. And it's looking like this much. Oh, it's giving share. Okay, let me pull this off. Let's part this out. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair down. This is what my hair is looking like, gruh. We gonna work with what we got. So I'm just gonna part all of this hair away. Ooh, that's a straight part. I love a good straight part. Okay, and this back part, I need to get this right. Y'all, I can braid my hair everything, but I'm terrible at parting. Like terrible at it. Y'all see all that gel residue? I hope it don't get in the way. Okay, so this is my leave out section. Okay, so I'm gonna braid this forward. We're just gonna braid this away. So this is our leave out. She has been tucked away. And for the rest of this hair, we're just gonna go ahead and braid it down. I gotta be careful. I got these press on nails on. And when I braid my natural hair with press on nails, my hair breaks and snaps and just, I can lose half my head from braiding my hair. I have to be careful, but I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna do three braids. Two right here and then one in the back and then our base is done. Okay, let's get to braiding. So all of our hair is braided down. One last thing I need to do is add some baby hairs. Now, in order to do our baby hairs, I'm gonna use my Eco Styler Gel on my natural hair. I love Eco Styler Gel on my hair. I think it's bad for your hair though. So I'm gonna take a baby hair brush. I'm gonna take some, pull out some baby hairs. It feels like I'm doing a comb over. That's the vibe. I try to take out as many baby hairs as possible because I'm creating some edges. Girl, that is a lot of broken off hair. Okay, just pull it from the back. Try to pull as much as possible from the back, gray. I'm gonna do the same down here. This side I don't wanna cooperate because I have some um, gel, some got to be stuck in my hair. So that's the best that we could do on that side. And next we're gonna go ahead and cut off these, what type of strings would I call these? These like leverage strings. We're just gonna cut these off because we don't need them. We're also gonna cut off the lace in the back. Like they have like a little lace lip in the back and we're just a little lace visor and we're just gonna chop this off too. The U part has been cut and she's ready to go. This one, they come with the sliding combs. So they have six combs. Um, five of them are sliding for the edges. So let's see if we can slide these in. I was a little bit nervous. We're gonna slide in the back comb first. This comb, there we go. Let's do this side. Okay, so these are slid in. As you can see, the comb is right there. These ends just kind of float. We'll be covering that part up with our hair, but on the sides, we need to slide in the combs as well. 
Now, see, my hair is thin on the edges. It, them combs on the side don't be doing nothing, girl. Okay, so we're all slid in. We're ready to go. Okay, so now that we finished that, let's go ahead and see what our natural hair is going to look like. Let's see. I mean, it's I took out the perfect amount of hair. We just need to make sure my hair is going to go ahead and cover this part because, oh girl, this is flat. Oh, this is cute. This is going to be good. I'll call this my little spaceship flat iron because look, listen, listen, li listen, Linda, listen. Oh, girl, it's like a little spaceship. I've adjusted the settings for thin hair because I have really, really fine hair. All we need to do now is flat iron this hair. So of course, y'all already know what I'm about to do. We about to use a heat protectant. We gotta save the strands, girl. I need a t-shirt, save the strands because my strands, they suffer every single day from a ponytail to a comb. I'm gonna take my heat protectant spray and I'm just gonna add some to the hair. My roots have been stretched from my ponytail, so I'm not gonna focus on the roots. I'm focusing on the ends, trying to make sure my hair can be straightened. Um, but I'm trying to only do one or two passes. I'm really not trying to put too much pressure on my hair. She can only do so much. I did use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant, and we're gonna take our combs, and I'm gonna do the chase method. Now, somebody had told me I wasn't doing the chase method right in my V-part wig video, so I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm going to do the chase method. Y'all help me. What am I chasing and how? Okay, so sis said the comb goes second. So we place the comb there, and then I'm gonna take the flat iron and Yes. Girl, one pass was good enough. <gasps> Look at that, my hair is blending, it's blending. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. Look how pretty this is. It's so flat. I mean, super flat. I love how pretty the hair looks. Look how pretty it is. You don't have to do anything to this hair. It's like a super easy, flat install. Oh my God, that's so pretty. And look at my part. You can't see the tracks at all. Maybe a little bit right here. I like to leave my roots a little bit wavy because it covers up the tracks a little bit better. So I'll stretch my roots in a ponytail and then only flatten the ends just so it blends in with the hair. But I'm not gonna do all that extra stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So to tame my natural hairs because my ends in about 0.3 seconds, they about to be poofed out. In order to like flatten my hair, I like to use a wax stick it helps my hair blend into the hair. So I'm gonna use the ZLA Hairline Master. I'm gonna apply some to my hand and we're just gonna smooth it onto the hair. Let me change, I need to get into an outfit that's gonna give this justice. This is what the finished look looks like. Ugh, I love how easy and simple this wig was. The ends are gorgeous. Now, the great thing about U-part wigs is you can try different sort of styles, and I wanna try different sort of styles today. My throat hurts, y'all. There are so many different ways that you can wear your U-part wig that can also save your hair from falling right out of your scalp, and I wanna show y'all those ways. So I think I have, I don't know how many styles I have. We'll see how many are successful, because sometimes I'll be trying styles and they not, they not cute. So let's go ahead and try a couple styles, and then y'all tell me if you like. Okay, first we're gonna start off with a really easy boho sort of style. I feel like this style is perfect for protecting your leave out, but then also giving you like a really, really cute little boho look. So what I'm doing is I'm taking most of my leave out, almost all of it, and I'm braiding it into 
the hair from the U part wig and I'm braiding it down about halfway and I'm going to take some of my little I don't know it's these little beads that you get for your braids and I'm just going to add it to the ends to make it secure to make sure the braids don't unravel and to give it a little bit of jewelry to give it a little spice we're going to do the same thing on the other side just braid it down you can also twist it if you're not good at braiding. I know everybody can't braid, so you can also twist it down as well. But I feel like the braid is more secure and it tucks the hair in. I have to be careful because y'all know I got thin hair. So, you know, my the tracks can slip out. So I just make sure I sort it and make sure my hair is covering the tracks while I'm braiding. So we're going to put a little uh, cuff at the end. That's what that's called. A little braid cuff at the end. And look how cute that is. It's a really like cute boho, like sort of festival looking style. And I'm just gonna pull the hair back and I'm gonna add a cuff to the end as well for our second style. And it kind of gives you like a little twist on the first look, like the second boho looking style. Love that for me. So we're gonna start off on our third style, which is like a, we're gonna loosen up the hair and next we're going to bring out those tendrils out in the front those little tendril antennas <laughs> and um erica De Niro tv said that they look like antennas to her and i can't unsee it but <laughs> we're going to take out some little tendrils on the front of the head and we're going to do like a half up half down but it's going to be like a low pony half up half down it's much easier to do this with this U part wig. You have to remember that I don't have any of my edges out, but the way they constructed this wig made it really, really seamless up in the front. Now my edges is thin, girl. If you give it a full side look, you like, girl, what's going on with your edges? That's fine. It still looks cute to me. And it's like a really, really simple style at the back with the little ponytails. So, so, so cute. And you can't even tell that the edges are mine. I mean, you can, but you can't tell that it's a U-part wig. Okay, so style number four, is this four? We're gonna do those same tendrils again in the front. And I have to make sure my hair stops separating because it's not used to being straightened. So I'm just trying to make sure it molds in with the hair. But this time we're just gonna do a low pony. Now I know, I wish I could remember your name, but you would ask for me to do a low pony in the video and I'm doing it and it ended up so cute. You have to remember that there is a little bit of lace at the back on under the tracks. So it makes it a little bit easier to cover it up. So I'm just going to comb the hair back. This cap was a little bit too big for my head. So I have to smooth down the cap to make it look flat. And I just pulled out some hair at the bottom to cover up the tracks. And we got a cute little ponytail with tendrils. It looks so natural, so cute really effortless and i think it's perfect for fall y'all tell me what you think okay so we have completed all of our looks we've ended up with this little cute ponytail i think someone asked me about a ponytail a while ago and i was so happy i was able to do it girl i hope that y'all enjoyed this video and y'all were able to pick up some ideas for some styles for your v part and u part wigs this one is one of my favorites. So simple, very sexy, and perfect for like a turtleneck. Something to get up off your neck. I love this. Now, if you're interested in this gorgeous U-part wig, of course, guess who got a coupon code? Me? I got a coupon code. Me. I got one. If you would like to get 16% off of your wig, use coupon code AMERA. A-M-E-E-R-A, girl, it's my name. Thank you so much to Summer Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I love you all so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I shouldn't have done that. 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 <laughs>